Welcome. This is lesson 3.6 covering the prong studio. Now that I, uh, I have an object over here, a ring that I have created, and I have already added my, uh, my stones. And as you can see, I got a large stone here in the center, and I have a lot of small round, uh, smaller round diamonds around the edge. So what I want to add is my prongs, now my beads in between all these over here and the ones in the corner on the big, bigger one also. So uh, we'll start with the simple. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to the larger stone. So let me go over here and zoom selection. And I'm using the center button of the mouse to bring this panel up. So select, uh, zoom selection. There is my large stone in the middle of the screen. And uh, I'll go ahead and move it slightly to the side so that I can see what's going on. Uh, also, sometimes I like to go to top view so we can look at this perfectly from top and know exactly where the prongs are ending up. So I'm going to go over to the prong uh, studio icon and click on that one. Once I click on that, uh, the panel opens up and it's, uh, it wants me to select the stone. I have this one highlighted, so I'll go ahead and click select. And as you can see, it automatically throws my four, start, starts with four prongs. Uh, right now, they're flat on the end, so that's the first thing I'm going to do, make them rounded on the end. Kind of makes it easier for me to see over here. Uh, kind of looks like a finished prong uh, already. Uh, you can change the number of prongs you want, but in this case, I do want four. I don't, I don't want smaller. Now, in the case of this gigantic stone here, uh, obviously, I want to go over here to the size, and I want that to be at least uh, 1.5 millimeters in uh, diameter, you know, uh, to hold that very large stone in place. Uh, you can go, uh, in this case, since I'm going with a single prong and making it large, I could go with the smaller prongs and put two of them, one in each closer to the edges of the corners here. But in this case, I'm happy with uh, those two. And for, uh, I'll go ahead and instead of 50% into the stone, I'll go ahead and bring him out a little bit, maybe 35% into the stone, kind of. Uh, make it easier later on for uh, manufacturing purposes to put that stone in there and hammer the things back into place. Uh, so I'm happy with this. Let me make sure. Let me look at what it looks like in perspective. Uh, now there's uh, there's something we need to talk about here. These prongs will probably be for manufacturing. They stick out of the surface quite a bit to hold this stone in place. Uh, if you wanted to make these prongs uh, and you wanted to render this model to look like it's a finished piece, then you need to make those prongs lower, obviously, to look like they have already been. Uh, so you would work with this over here. Notice you can sink them in. You know, that's very important. To make it look finished, they have to go down. You know, but in this case, for manufacturing purposes, we'll keep them up there. Uh, and I'll click OK. And those four prongs are done. Now let's let's work on the smaller stones. Now these guys over here, I I probably want to do maybe five prongs per stone. That way he's going to put one here and one here, one somewhere over here, one in the back and one on the other side. So we'll kind of wrap the whole stone in small beads, repeat it all the way around. So I'm going to pick, for example, uh, I'll start with uh, make it easy. I'll just pick one stone. Uh, we can pick all of them, but for, to make the computer work a little bit faster and easier, since I already think I know what I want, I'm going to select that stone and go to the prong option. And it wants me to select the stone, so I'll click select. Notice we see the prongs there now. I'll go ahead and, and repeat this. Go over here to uh, top view. Kind of makes it easier to see the the effect of what I'm doing. So uh, one more time, I'll make them rounded on top. Uh, this time, uh, the stones are smaller. Uh, there's going to be a lot more prongs, and some of them will be kind of common between the two, kind of crashing into each stone. So what I'll do here is I'm going to change the, the diameter, maybe to like uh, maybe 0 0.5, 0 0.5 bead 
beads uh, over here for these guys. Uh, what did I do wrong here? I mean, there. There we go. There's a 0.5. Uh, and the percentage inside the stone, uh, I'll go ahead and leave it at 50. Notice that it's kind of fits perfectly there, touching the stone and barely touching that edge. And uh, I'll make them a little shorter. There we go. Back into actually, probably not. Let's, let's leave that like that. Next, uh, I want to change the number of prongs. Instead of four, I want five. There. Notice that looks really nice. Two on the edge, one on the back, and one, two, you know, kind of uh, over here. So, uh, and I can go ahead and do all kinds of different things. I could go over here also, for example, and decide that I want to move these around. Maybe I want this one higher over here and this one lower. So I can go ahead and pick one and, and move it. As you can see, there we go. One is moving side to side. You know, but in the case of this configuration, I really don't want to move them around. Uh, now we can also change the way they're oriented on the surface, but in this case, we have a straight surface, so we don't have to bend them or turn them or do any of this kind of uh, configuration. What I want to do is now, since I have configured it to one stone, I need it to follow to all the other stones, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the on the tool here so that it picks all the similar stones and applies the same configuration I'm going to click on that and give it a few seconds uh, there's a lot of geometry being added right now and uh, there we go we get all our prongs in there and uh, if you want to rotate or move anything around you can go ahead and do that at this time but uh, maybe, let me see if I lower and down a little bit. Actually, that would make them higher. Now, notice that after I click similar, now there's a whole lot more runs in there. It takes a little longer for the computer to, to work. So I'm going to leave it at the 90 that it had before. Wait for it to finish updating. And... Uh, Make sure you're patient. Let the computer do its work. Let it finish. Because if you notice how the cursor is blinking one more time, that means it, it's finished doing what it was doing. If you try to rush it and try to keep clicking here, uh, you know you can make your computer, you know, uh, lock up because you're throwing too many very memory-intensive commands at it. So in this case, uh, I'm done. So we can click OK. Now we go to the top view. And here we have our uh, ring, uh, all full of our prongs, uh, uh, ready for the next step, which it will be the next lesson where we're going to learn to place the cutters to put the holes where the stones go.